Hey you too. It's Ben here with the 60 gallon cichlid tank and the 135. <laughs> the uh, here's here's an update on what's going on and the 60 has certainly gone through some changes. I'll uh, go over with you what those are and then we'll take a look at the 135. So thanks for tuning in. For those of you that watch my videos, you know, you know that these this Wonderstone here that I purchased was originally intended for the um, for the 135, but um, you know after having it in there and looking at the contrast between it and uh, some of the rocks I purchased from Universal, I decided to just move it over here to the uh, to the 60, and, and I kind of like the way it looks. The 60, as I alluded to uh, before, and for those of you on Facebook know already, has become a uh, a grow out tank for a uh, a good number of uh, fish that I that I picked up from uh, from David Estes over at uh, FL Trop Fish FL like Florida T R O P Fish on eBay I had picked up a, a Fusco from him before and you can see this little Fusco down here already showing some nice coloration nice markings I had picked up a Fusco from him before and uh, turned out to be a very epic fish and so I decided to go ahead and give him one more shot and uh, and I picked up uh, 10 different um, 10 different haps that you can see in here I also have the uh, sulfur head who was living in constant fear with the other fish so I left him behind because he's a little bit too small so he can he can be the boss of this tank for a little bit fish I purchased um, from FL Trop Fish include a um, a Chris, Chrysogaster, a Neochromis Chrysogaster, let's just call it a Christie. An Aristochromis uh, Christy Malawi Hawk, which you can see in there. And uh, there's a Red Empress in there. And there's also a Linny, a Nimbochromis Linny. There's also a, pho a Phosochromis rostratus, Phosochromis rostratus, and a uh, Placidochromis John Stoney. So there's a John Stoney in there, and a Living Stoney. There's also a Lithrinops marginitas redfin, Lithrinops marginitas redfin in there. And there's also a Taiwan reef. They threw in a uh, the redfin and the Taiwan reef because they were out of Venusis, which worked out well since I picked up some over at the local fish store, three for $10. And then they were out of the polystigmas so they threw a Taiwan Reef in there, which I didn't necessarily want.
obviously I don't need a Taiwan Reef. I've got this this beast right here. Probably pushing about seven inches, maybe more. So at any rate, overall I'd say the the order from uh, the order from FL Fish Drop was a was a success, and you really can't beat. When you think about it, it was uh, with shipping, ended up being about 18 bucks a fish, 18.50 a fish, with shipping. So that's not not a bad deal. Also picked up three Venusas at a local fish store. I think Venusas as uh, as juvies are probably some of the cutest uh, some of the cutest fish available. But uh, I picked up three of those for ten dollars at the local fish store, and they also had. Uh, Living Stony, Living Stone Eye, but I'd already, I had already ordered one, so um, I went ahead and just uh, stayed with the one I have here in the tank. So, so that's the 60 now. The 60 is now just basically a big grow-out tank. I left the uh, Pleco behind because he, he does such a good job with the algae in this tank. And now when I drop an algae wafer in, the Pleco doesn't get. Uh, doesn't get beat beat out by the by the cichlids. The pleco actually gets to eat his algae wafer, where before the cichlids were just taking it. So um, that's the 60. Let's take a look at the 135. Here's the 135, and as you can see, I've moved a few of the rocks over from the um, some of the dark rocks that you see is lava rock that I moved over from the 60 and put into the 135. I have some of that ocean alive black substrate and a lot of uh, live live Anubias, a couple these smaller smaller guys coming out of that rock there were from the 60. The rest of them were all picked up at the local fish store and uh, some of these uh, long slender ones and my wife's favorite which are these uh, broad leafy leafy Anubias and I'm I'm thinking those are going to help with with the control of nitrates the fish of course are acting hungry even though they just ate and uh, that's just how these cichlids roll right hungry 24 7 if they act, uh, if they don't act hungry, something's wrong, right? You'll also notice I have a different, a second eye biter in there. Picked up an eye biter for about eleven bucks at a local fish store. Looked like a possible male, so I uh, grabbed him. You can see him back there. There he is. Very interesting fish, especially the way they hunt. They come, uh, they come at you from directly above you. So if you're another fish, it's uh, they come down in your blind spot and uh, nab you. So they're uh, fascinating fish. And uh, I notice in this tank the Z Rock is coming out a lot more. Where before he was usually just hanging out in the back. So I would say overall the fish are enjoying the extra room and the universal rocks. You can see all the uh, all of the light colored rocks. Are universal rocks and uh, same folks that provided the background I use the Jay Wilson 15% uh, discount code that saved me a lot of money and uh, I also uh, scored I had a recent birthday and uh, my wife picked me up a uh, you can see it under here a, a 704 a Sun Sun 704B which moves a lot of water and is just a great unit quiet and uh, has a massive impeller that's moving a lot of water and really complementing the uh, the uh, FX6 that I have under here you can see the FX6 I've got going here so I've got those two units, FX6 and a Sun Sun 704B. So we're moving a lot of a lot of water, and uh, 
I have one of those stick-on lights attached to the bottom of the tank. Mm -hmm. So, at any rate, as you can see, it's coming together. And for those of you that uh, have gone along with me on this journey, I appreciate it. And the tank still has a little ways to go on clearing up. I'm still dosing it on a daily basis with a little bit of stability. Really building up a very a, a real good, strong, um, beneficial bacteria in the two filters. So I'm still uh, I'm still treating with stability, and uh, haven't used the UV light that comes with the uh, Sun Sun. Haven't used that yet, since uh, you don't want to use UVs when you're treating with stability. I guess it counteracts what stability is trying to do. But overall, I think it's. Uh, it's cleaning up pretty nicely. I'm happy with the performance of the filters, happy with the way it's coming together. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in, everybody, and, and your support throughout this project has been, uh, and your encouragement has been great. And uh, I'll go in more detail my thoughts on the whole thing, the whole process. I mean, certainly it had some ups and downs when you buy a used tank and you, and you decide to reseal it. And... Uh, and as you work on the tank and the stand, you discover things that you want to fix and change. And, you know, in the in the scheme of things, maybe it might have been better off just to just to pick up a big a big tank on sale on a, you know, on a, on a uh, Black Friday sale or something. But but it is what it is and uh, no regrets and uh, just move forward from here. So as soon as those haps put on some size, I'm going to be moving them into here. And then the peacocks, the peacocks will go back into the 60. That is the long-term plan. So uh, there's Los Tres Amigos who uh, love their new tank. Okay, so that's it for now, folks. Thank you so much for watching. As always, you're appreciated. Be sure to add your comments below and subscribe and share and all that good stuff, okay? Thank you so much, folks.